If you're looking to trade tennis on Betfair, then BetAngel is the best Betfair trading software for tennis trading. And that is because it contains a vast range of features that are specifically designed to improve and enhance your ability to be able to profit from tennis trading on Betfair. Features like live scores, they come straight from the course, straight onto your favored uh, trading interface. And you can actually display and you can customize it and display them how, however you want, wherever you want within the software. But you can also do clever things like put them into watch lists or coupons so that you can keep an eye on a vast range of matches at exactly the same time. Better than that, why not get BetAngel to alert you to your favorite setup? Are you looking for a specific score in a specific set on a particular player? Well, BetAngel can actually find that for you across all of those matches and alert you to that opportunity and even switch you to that market automatically if you want to. And talking about automated things, you can actually trade manually or completely automatically using BetAngel. So that will improve vastly the scope of your ability within these particular markets. And not forgetting, of course, Tennis Trader, the amazing feature within BetAngel that allows you to model and understand how a tennis match is likely to trade. Where are those key points within the match? What impact will it have on price? And what is your risk reward ratio when you're actively taking that particular trade? Using the betting odds modeling tool, Tennis Trader, you can actually work out where you need to be in the market, what risk you're taking. And of course, that's absolutely key to successful and profitable trading. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at those features that I've just mentioned there, explain how to bring them up on BetAngel and how to use them. I'm on the one click screen here and um, we're, we're going to examine a couple of things on here before changing everything and showing you all of the full capabilities that you have within BetAngel. But you can see that we've set up the one click screen with a tennis score layout with tennis scores. So you can see here we've got um, the number of points, games and sets that have uh, occurred so far. And that will update completely automatically direct from the umpire's chair on any uh, match that is compatible with the tennis scores feature. And um, you can do this on the one click screen or the ladder. You can see at the ladder we've actually got information uh, pointed above here and we've moved the staking to the bottom. Basically everything's configurable on BetAngel. You can display lots of information on different screens and with tennis matches, if there's a, a feed that's available, you will be able to pull in all of the tennis scores. Now, if you go into Guardian, um, the way that we're pulling in the tennis scores is we have an automation file uh, that is automatically doing that for us. If you look at these layouts and all of the suggestions that I'm going to make in here, you can import all of these. Simply go to the forum. We've got separate areas for uh, individual layouts on the ladder, customizations. We've got automation for tennis, and we've also got a whole variety of other settings as well. There's basically everything you can see here can be downloaded within a few clicks. You just need to import it into BetAngel and away you go. And you can see on here as well as the tennis scores, you can see we've actually have some automation strategies uh, that are designed to alert us to information that's going on within these individual matches. And you can um, put up to five different bits of automation on this. You can see you could have scores, alerts, um, individual trading strategies, um, all displaying for you uh, simultaneously. And you can of course link all of this into an Excel spreadsheet as well. But basically, you can see we've got a range of different matches on here. And really, your experience with BetAngel and tennis matches um, starts with the selection of the individual matches. Because when you're looking at a Grand Slam tournament, you can have loads of matches on. Um, and even some of the minor tournaments, there can be significant numbers of matches on. So what you should actually do is use some of the filters. And again, you can import um, filters into BetAngel. And that will allow you to quickly look at all of the matches that are available. So I've deliberately picked some lower quality matches here, but if I go down to this filter here for the French Open Tennis, you can see that we can actually add in a couple more from here. You can basically just drag and drop, or if you right click, you can select all markets and drag and drop those in as well. Um, but basically once you add those matches in to the mix, then basically uh, they will be able, you will be able to act on those. So if we go into um, the Zverev match, if we need to apply the rules to it, so I'm just going to basically apply uh, the individual rules here. I think we've got tennis scores down here, yep. And I'm going to apply that to rules two. And then basically that will start importing scores on there. You can see the Djokovic and Nadal match isn't off uh, just yet. So if I double click on that, it will take us back 
to this particular match. You can see they're uh, very close at this particular moment in time. And you can see it's 5-4 in the first set. And we've got Zverev serving at this particular moment in time. And again, we can see that um, on the ladder. You, you can basically modify and display everything. You'll see a giant gap over here, which we will come back to um, in a little bit um, that we're going to use for additional information. Uh, if I go back into Guardian as well, one of the things that you can do on here, which is pretty clever, is if you use the Guardian list feature, then that will actually allow you to um, show a different type of layout. So we've chosen the layout tennis scores layout, and we can also choose the custom columns for tennis scores. And can you see suddenly all of that information is available right in front of you. Uh, what Bet Angel Guardian will do is cycle through all of these markets, updating all of these scores. So if you want to speed that up, we've got it on a one second cycle at the moment. Just whack it up to 20 milliseconds or something. And then basically it will cycle through all of these really, really quickly. But of course, um, it, you could look at an individual match such as we're looking at the um, Severov um, Alcaraz match at the moment. You can see it's 30 love to um, Severov in this particular game. So he's basically serving for the set, which is why you can see he's going odds on at this particular moment in time. But you can also see you've got loads of other data within here and you can display this in a number of different ways. So you'll also see uh, within this particular list, we've got uh, tennis info with break point count layout. So you can actually change uh, what this looks like, however you wish um, to apply it. And one of the best features within BetAngel is, of course, the automation. So you can actually apply automation uh, to all of these matches and it can actually hunt for opportunities for you. It can either trade them automatically or it can alert you if it finds an opportunity. So if you're looking for a match where a player has one set up, um, two games to love up and is serving in the next game, it can say, oh, here you go, this is the match. And it can either trade it for you, alert you, or switch you into that match automatically. So there is an awful lot that you can do. But basically, by combining the layout features within the one-click screen, the ladder interface, or on Guardian, you can get all the information that you need displayed immediately in front of you. So you can see I've got Guardian up here. I've brought in a load of tennis matches. I'm using a filter a market filter called Today's Tennis that will bring in the current ATP and WTA tournaments that are taking place. And um, if I just right click on this list, I can select all markets and then drag and drop those in to the main list. And you can see that that populates with all of these markets. Uh, one of these is finished, so I will delete that. In fact, two of them are finished. So let me just delete those. And you can see some are in play. Um, and this match up here is obviously just finished as well. Um, but basically, if you wanted to sort matches that were in play or matches by volume, uh, very easy to do. Uh, it's up to you how you want to display all of this information. But I've sorted them by in play uh, because that obviously uh, is the most useful for me. Now, in order to bring in and show all of the other features as well, we're going to populate some automation over here. So if I go to automation and apply the tennis scores rule to rule one, so that is now pulling in tennis scores. And once you get the tennis scores in automation, then you can share and put that anywhere you like across the entire product. But what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to bring in the 1540 strategy alert, and I'm going to apply that to rules too. So we've now got two rules. We can have up to five running on there. And um, what we can also do as well is we don't have to use Guardian to monitor the matches because I can actually select these matches we can go to the watch list, watch list one, you've got up to five watch lists you can run. And I'm going to add those markets to the selected watch list. And then if we display the watch list, I can show you uh, what we have here. Now, if you see the watch list look like that, it's because you're only showing one selection within the market. So you should show all of them in order to get all of the data that you can see here. And um, you'll also see over here, we've got a blank column. If you want to display information on the watch lists, you just head to the display option on here. And you can see within there, you can display tennis scores, um, as in from the current game, from the previous sets. But we've also switched on alerts so that if we get a situation um, that, you know, Bet Angel is looking for the scoreline 1540, then it will appear on this list. And the great thing about that is 
Not only will it appear on this list, you can get it to appear on Guardian, but you can also get it to play a sound, you can get it to switch you to the market, or it can display a text message. So however you wish to uh, digest this information, um, all of that is available for you. But if you want to set up BetAngel to display scores, you can do it within a watch list as well, and the watch list can run on top of all of the existing stuff that you've got. So you can trade a tennis match, you can do something else, or if you want to, you can put it on another screen. Uh, but all of that information is immediately available to you, and that's how you'd bring up a watch list with all of the tennis scores and the alerts uh, on BetAngel. So yeah, um, that's another way that you can use this information and to display it. So if we look at this match at the moment, um, we can see that Zverev has just won the first set. Um, Alcaraz is serving four uh, to start the second set. And we can actually see, if we look at this, um, what has actually happened during the match. So you can see that Carlos Alcaraz, the rising tennis star, um, started at 125 and the price has drifted and drifted and drifted until we've reached this point um, of the match. And of course, necessarily, that means that Zverev has done the opposite. But one of the big features that you have within BetAngel um, is the, the tool called Tennis Trader, which you can access on a compatible match, basically one that can receive uh, live data. You can use it on matches that doesn't have live data, but you have to enter the score manually. But if we click on Tennis Trader, what you will actually see um, is information uh, and the scores getting pumped in live uh, to any particular match. You need to do a little bit of setting up to make sure that you've got everything set up the way that it should be. So this is going to be a five set match uh, where a tie break is allowed in that uh, particular match. Uh, we don't want um, any of the players, any points to be on the board when we do this. But once you've set it up in that manner, you click on calibrate. And basically what BetAngel does is it looks at the match. It looks at the relative difference between the players and the score. And then that will basically generate a seed value for the prediction model that it is using. I'm just going to pin that to the top. Now you can actually set your own values within here. So if I just bring this down and show you this little box, um, we can calibrate with fixed values um, or with your own, uh, or it, it will search through the calibration value that you've got up here, or you can do fixed values for each individual player. This is a little bit more advanced, but basically if you've got tennis stats um, available to you or you want to look on the ATP or the WTA site, you can actually enter uh, information into the model yourself. So you don't have to rely upon BetAngel doing it. If you want to be that little bit more advanced or you want to play around with the concept of a tennis uh, pricing model, then you can actually enter in your own values in this particular uh, part of the software. Um, if you want an explanation on that, um, there is another video which talks about uh, what you're looking for and how you can enter these particular values. So I'm not going to cover it specifically here. But basically, once you've calibrated and linked up BetAngel, then what Tennis Trader will do is it will tell you uh, basically what the score will be given a number of scenarios. So I'm just going to expand this slightly down here because the best way to look at this is to actually look at the game matrix. This will update as a game gets underway. So this is basically saying that um, Alcaraz is serving at this particular moment in time. If the score moves to 15 love, then it will basically, uh, the market will price it at 213 or 189 or around that level. Um, and then you can basically see that whatever the uh, path this particular game follows, um, it will basically tell you where it expects the price to be. And you can do the same on a set as well. I'll just adjust this so you can see the full set. But basically, as we progress through the set, what you're seeing here is uh, if a game goes with serve, uh, this will be uh, the price here. And then if then if the game goes with serve the other way, and then you can see the match would go all the way from here. So basically, anything below this line is a break in favor of Alcaraz. Anything above that line is a break in favor of Zverev. Um, and if you go above that, and then it's two breaks, three breaks, and so on. So you can basically see what it would take for the odds to reach a certain level. So if um, Alcaraz has to go back to odds of basically 125, uh, then we're going to have to see him win this particular set uh, for certain. Um, and you can use the tennis model in a number of ways. You can use it to predict where your entry or exit point is within the market, 
or you can use it to see how much the market has deviated since the start of the match. In other words, what is the market telling you? What are people doing? Um, are they adjusting their um, behavior, their anticipation of one player or the other? But you can also custom make all of the scenarios in here as well. So we've got um, Alcaraz wins a game. Uh, you can enter a custom score. There are basically just an infinite number of things that you can do. And the idea is that rather than just going in and guessing what your opening and closing position is going to be within a tennis match, you can actually model it. And this is one of the most powerful features that you have within Bet Angel if you're thinking of trading tennis, because this will give you a good measure of when you can trade in and out of a market and what you would expect the price to be given certain scenarios. So if you're looking to trade on tennis on Betfair, Bet Angel has just about everything that you need in order to be able to do that effectively. You can heavily modify the one click and the ladder screens to contain additional information, including what the current score is within the tennis match. You can actually get Guardian to apply automation or to alert you to opportunities that you see within a particular match. That can monitor a whole swathe of individual matches to tell you what the current scores are. It can act upon that automatically by trading it for you, or it can just alert you that there's an opportunity or something that you should be looking at. And if you actually want to trade an individual match and you want to look at where key entry and exit points are within the match, then you can use the Tennis Trader tool, which is basically modeling the progress of a match and uh, where the odds are likely to go given certain score lines. And you can see it also tells you about the probability of winning the match, the set, and so on. Uh, these are very, very powerful tools that you've got within BetAngel. So whether you want to trade manually, automatically, you're just looking for opportunities, or you want to get the current scores quickly in front of you for you to have a look at, BetAngel will do it all for you.